what is up guys? I'm gonna show you how I made an ambient synth pad sound using only stock plugins in FL Studio. This is what I have created. Okay, so let's jump straight into FL Studio. Okay, so I'm using the three times OSC in FL Studio, which it's actually just using a basic sine wave. So sine waves for all of the three oscillators. I'm using, I think it's the initial patch. The only thing that I did is just added a little bit of phase um, offset by plus 9% in oscillator two and minus 9% in oscillator three, just to give it a little bit of stereo width. Then I went to the volume uh, envelope on the settings up here and just added a little bit of attack, some decay, sustain and release. And these are the chords that I've used for this synth pad. It sounds like this. It almost sounds like, like a, a church organ, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. So I just decided to add some more effects to this plugin. So the first one is the Effector FX module. This plugin has so many cool built-in effects and I'm using the Lo-Fi module and it sounds like this. So you can use this like XY uh, pad up here to set the amount of like lo-fi effect. I wanted like a more bit reducted sound, but I thought it was a little bit too much. So I just dialed back the dry wet knob down here. You can hear like how it's 100% wet. It's a little bit too much, but I just wanted like that degraded sound. So that's what I did with the effects of plugin. Next, I added the fruity phaser. This plugin is pretty cool. So what I did is that I just loaded up the standard like initial preset. And the only thing that I did was to apply some of the, like the sweeping frequency. So it went from being a little bit too fast to just being a little bit of slower, like sweeping frequency. And then I changed it from small to large frequency range. And then I turned down the output gain a little bit. And I think I put this to like 50% wet. So this is what it's doing. So just moving like from left to right and like doing this like cool sweeping effect. And it sounds really awesome on these like sine waves. Next, this is perhaps my favorite stock plugin in FL Studio, the Fruity Chorus. It just sounds really cool. And to be honest, I think I just put up the initial preset. It just sounds really cool out of the box. And this is what it's doing. Just a really like warm, cool sound being added to these like sine waves. Okay, so now we have the perhaps coolest one of the plugins. It's and it's just an EQ, but what it's doing is that it's being modulated by an LFO, by actually several LFOs in FL Studio. So that's what you can see right now on the screen is that you have these spikes up here that are being like just randomly pushed forwards and backwards from left to right and up and down and all that stuff. And then you have like this number four here, like just doing a low pass filter, sweeping just from high to low. And this is all being done by using LFOs. So if we go to the mixer channel in FL Studio, I've actually made a channel called LFOs. And here I have loaded up the peak controller plugin and I'm using the LFO uh, module of the P-Controller plugin and just setting up the LFO. This one is set to like a random shape. And this is just to get these like random bumps up and down in values. This one is modulating, I think it's number three wave here. And what I have done is that I have created like a spike like this, like with a really like narrow Q resonant uh, frequency. This like frequency knob down here has actually been linked to a controller. So this is being linked to the LFO one. LFO part. So this is like the peak controller, the number one. Then it's just doing like these different, like it's just moving f around uh, in the frequency range. I think that's pretty cool. And I just repeated that process for the, the frequency band number five. It's actually LFO three here. So doing the same, a little bit of like a faster speed here. And then for LFO two, you can see this is like a 
sine wave. So doing like more like of a slow, like up and down waveform. And this is controlling this like low pass filtering. That's just filtering from up and down. And this is the result it gives. Just listen to how randomly the sound is evolving and changing. And then I just added an extra EQ just to remove the low end. This is without the, fi the filter. There are like some subtle like hops and clicks in the low end that was generated by these LFOs and I just wanted to remove them. So that's why I added this EQ. Then I just added like a standard like flanger. I'm actually not quite sure what this plugin does. And I just twisted, twisted the sliders, put them up and down and did something with this order over here. I perhaps need to go and check out the manual to see what it actually does, but I just wanted like a gritty effect. I think it's just to my ears, it's just adding something that's pretty cool and adding a little bit of extra movement. So that's why I put it in. Then the next one is the Fruity Delay Free. This is a really powerful delay plugin. And what I did is that I added 40% uh, of width and then I put the delay to uh, third, put to a ping pong mode. I just dialed back the stereo width a little bit because we are playing around with a lot of stereo effects and I still want this to sound good in mono. Added some feedback, put the cutoff to like a band pass and put up the resonance so I get like some cool sounds to the delays. And then one really cool thing about this plugin is that you can reduce the sample rate and the bit uh, reduction of the feedback of the delays. When the delays are happening, you get like a really cool lo-fi sound to these delays. Say you listen. This just sounds really gritty and texture rich in my opinion. Play around with these knobs to your likings. It can create some really awesome results. Then I have this Love Filter plugin, and I haven't actually played that much around with this plugin, but it has a lot of cool features. What I actually just did with this one was just using the, I think this is like a variable filter, and I'm using it in like a dual mode. I think this is actually the one, like the standard one when you're loading up the plugin. So what I actually did here is just leave the cutoff uh, frequency as is, then I boosted the resonance, and then I went down to the cutoff here, to the LFO, enabled that, and then I made like a like a like a waveform like this, just twisting these knobs, because I wanted this LFO uh, waveform to modulate the cutoff of uh, the filter. So this is just doing some really cool like LFO movement to the cutoff. This stuff. Just doing this like sweeping effect and I think it sounds pretty cool, adding a little bit extra movement. Then we have another powerful, simple plugin. It's the Fruity Panomatic. This is just, it has so few settings and knobs that you can twist, but this one, like this section down here with the LFO is pretty cool. You can just quickly create like an auto panning effect. So having like this to, I like to use the sine uh, wave as the LFO shape. I set this to modulate the panning knob up here. I put the speed like relatively fast and then I just play around with the amount and it just does like this, does this like this on the, on the metering and take a listen to what it does. If I pull this up, let's do it like this. This is just a cool way to just, again, adding movement modulation to the sound. Okay, so now we have perhaps the most important plugin to create this like ambient synth pad sound and it's the Fruity Reverb 2. So what you might know just right away is that I have put the wet all the way up to 100%. The early reflections are already almost at 100% as well, but then I dialed back the dry uh, level to uh, around 50%.
And that's because I wanted that more like reverby sound to the pad. I added a little bit of decay around like 3.7 seconds. And then I turned out the like the diffusion to like get a more like a like a, a square wave. I think it just sounds more like digital in my opinion. And then again with the stereo width, I just turned down the stereo separation so it gets a little bit closer to mono. So we don't have two wide sounds. I can show you here, I have like a meter here. So if we play the sound right now, I try to this separation knob back and then you can see here on the meter that it gets a little bit wider. This sounds so cool. And even though when we're putting this in mono, it still sounds really cool. It still has like the modulation and all that stuff in the sound. So it still has like the core, like signature sound. This is just coming from like a bunch of different plugins in FL Studio. So all of these like plugins here does something to the sound. And you can also like just rearrange the order of the plugins. Then you can actually come up with different sounds swap out some plugins with others, it can also yield some other crazy results. That's what I love about sound design is that you can reorder plugins and get some completely different results. This is like the sound that we have created. But if I put off all of the plugin, listen to what we have. Just that simple sine wave, but if we put on the plugins again. This just has so much cool movement in my opinion. I've said that so many times in this video, but it's just because it's so amazing. And it's just done with stock plugins in FL Studio. And that just means that you can do this as well. You don't need all these like fancy third party plugins to create cool sounds. You just have to experiment and play around and you can come up with some really cool results. So yeah, that's it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, it means so much to me if you smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any future videos on the channel. And if you want to support this channel even further, you can go and buy me a coffee. That means you're going to donate some money to the channel. It's going to help me reinvest into the channel to make even more better content for you guys. So go and check out the link in the description down below. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.